Drone operations these days are increasing in number, are increasing in complexity, are increasing in the different type of drone being used. And with this continuous increase, we realize very quickly that it's difficult for a single centralized entity that is traditionally human-centric to be able to manage this complexity. Now, with the advent of new technology, there is an opportunity to open up a market that will eventually improve the system and eventually even make it safer. And the SUS is an attempt to start to create these conditions for companies to come into Switzerland and play a role into this new management of the airspace in the future. SUSI, the Swiss Space Implementation, is an initiative from FOCA to um, facilitate partnership between uh, industries and that will help to integrate all the drones into the airspace. So today we had the collaboration of the different industrial stakeholders, the ANSP SkyGuide and the Federal Office of Aviation to demonstrate the technology of remote identification. This meant having multiple drones flying in the airspace and meant having multiple use space service providers as display providers to basically capture the information of drone flying and displaying their position and their identification on multiple different apps. We believe that in the unmanned sector we can have several players, many different drones and drone operator, and everything is interoperable. It doesn't matter what service provider you're using because information is shared between those in an interoperable way, which really is the foundation of a federated use-based service architecture. The Swiss architecture supports an open market approach that enables industry to provide services at the pace of the growth of drone operations while having effective oversight from regulators. With it being such an open uh, uh, architecture, it allows for uh, organizations to work together to help unmanned aerial traffic become safer. And this means the ability for the industry to offer this service again in a competitive environment. It means the ability for all the citizens in Switzerland to be able to identify drones, protecting the privacy, however, of the drone operator as well as the citizens' privacy, and allows the police to respond to these needs uh, effectively and as they prefer. In a more concrete way, we show um, how we can dispatch, for instance, from the police. The police don't need to sit in the field and wait for a drone to identify uh, the drone. They can be in their office and uh, identify the, the drone through the system. It's clear that we're going to gain time to know exactly what's going on au-dessus of our head, because actuellement, we have to consult all the dossiers and verify what drone is. On the 1300 drones that we dénombre chaque année sur Genève, il y en a 10 par jour, so it's vrai que pour nous, c'est une charge de travail. Du moment qu'on aura une identification automatique, bah, ça nous permettra de faire une levée de doute très rapide. The architecture is modular, so it allows any size of business to actually join the, this architecture and actually collaborate at planet scale with uh, industry leaders, even if you are just a small startup. I think the big benefits about the SUSI architecture are that uh, we have an architecture which, which is quite flexible. And uh, I think this is very important because we, we do not know yet where the journey is going. We need this flexibility to adapt to the market needs in future. So now we demonstrated that this remote ID standard works great. What we now have to do is to understand how can we implement that from an operational perspective. The creation of SUSE is an attempt to bring new industrial partners into the ecosystem that will help us and the ecosystem to digitize, to transition from human-centric to digital and machine-centric, and also to share the knowledge and to collaborate towards a faster and accelerated development of this technology in support of drone operations.